I got all the signs done. Now, when somebody orders a sign, I just stain it and give it to my wife and she paints it. And then, phew, these are signs ready to head out to a customer. And this is where we do all our packaging, stuff like that. I need to bring all these signs, stick them right over there. All right, that should keep us going for a couple of weeks during a non-busy season. Next busy season will be Mother's Day, and that can get pretty hairy. What I need to do right now real quick is edit a podcast that uh, my buddy Todd and I do every Friday morning. People ask me what the podcast is about, and I, I basically just tell them it's kind of like two grumpy guys. Old grumpy guys complain. <laughs> That's about the podcast. Well, you know, that, that's the hard thing, though, is that it's hard to come up with an original shape, right? And I mean, like, there's uh, how many variations currently exist on a knife? And we got that edited, exporting, then we'll upload it. And I need to get on to packaging some sanding blocks. Got those going out today. My oldest is coming back from college today. Yes. He's doing commercial aviation. He wants to be a pilot. He's having a lot of fun. He started a band, <laughs> which is good. And uh, it's, it's good. He's having a good life. He's enjoying himself. It's, it, it's natural, right? I mean, when you get to a certain age, it's normal for kids to want to kind of venture out on their own, start their own life. And just because it's natural doesn't mean it's easy. It's been really hard. It's been, it's been on like, it's brutal. It hasn't gotten easier yet. It hasn't gotten like, oh, normal. Weird. So here's the last signing block I have to do today, and I'll show you guys our redneck power feed. <laughs> We got our sanding blocks all packaged up. We're gonna take them to the, well, actually my son's gonna take them to the city. I might have to look at the gate, I don't know. It's, yesterday it wouldn't close, today it closed this morning. Like last night when I went to bed, it was open and then it decided to close. I'm excited for your camp thing. Uh-huh. Are the signs up here? Yeah. Oh, okay. So my two oldest have their licenses now. We probably do half as much driving kids as we used to, right? It's like they've got somewhere to be, they've got music lessons, or they're getting together. They just, they just drive themselves. Yeah, it's really handy, and I especially don't like being out late at night. I'm, I'm like a kind of guy, I'd like to be in bed by 9.30 if I can, but even with the kids driving themselves from these events, you can't fully relax until they're home, right? You're just always worried about them, and... Wow, a lot of things change in life. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think? think the gate's gonna open, work properly. Oh, it's opening. Now the question is, is it gonna close? No, I have it programmed to not take this long to close. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. You know, it's got these little dial wheels that you can adjust in and out and I have it set up so that it like opens, stays open for 10 seconds, and then it closes. And for some, oh no, see that? It didn't close, it didn't close. It's bobbling back and forth. So we are gonna have to take a look at this tonight. Just uh, getting some gasoline. Somewhere right around here, they're actually putting in a de Havilland aircraft manufacturing plant and it's going to create, I forget how many thousands of jobs, like it might just be out in that field over there. They're putting a big huge runway in here. Second son, he wants to become an aircraft mechanic. So that could be pretty handy for him. And this is like 10 minutes away from home. So who knows? So it's opening. Good sign. Please close. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Keep closing. Keep. Oh. Okay, you got this. You got this. Whoo! Ay, ay, ay. It mostly closed. I have to go out there and see what's going on. Manual for the gate. I think it's 3 eighths. Like my tools there, cat. 
We're running out of daylight. All right, so it's opening. But is it gonna close? Man, Friday afternoons are busy for traffic. Okay, keep going. Well, now it worked perfectly. Open. Seriously, how does that work? That doesn't make any sense. Like, it's on the fritz all day long. I get my tools, I come out here, and now it just works. I just don't get it. Okay. Open and close, like, like nothing's wrong with it. Oh. If you guys have any idea of what might be causing that problem, see, we've got two separate operators, and there are signal wires that go from one to the other, and what has happened in the past is that it's lost the signal between. There's a little status LED that, that's for troubleshooting, and it will blink six times. The manual says that means that there's a communication error, and I have indeed gone out there with my multimeter and found that there's no continuity between one of those conductors. Uh, thankfully, whoever installed that ran like a cat cable with a whole bunch of extra wires in it. And so what I'll do is I'll just take an orange one from this side of the operator, an orange one from the other side of the operator, put them together, and then it works for like a month or two. And then I'll go check it out. And sure enough, one of those conductors has failed and I think what the problem is somehow with the frost movement of the ground it is um, it's like breaking those conductors or something like that and so I don't know for sure what the deal is I've gone through four different wires and I'll literally just go hook it up put the new conductors on and then it works perfectly and I don't get it and it has to do with temperature fluctuations like when it's like minus 20 for weeks on end it works flawlessly or if it's warm for weeks on end it works flawlessly but it's when we're in these transition phases which kind of makes sense for the shifting of the ground ah, I don't know though Ooh. well I guess you know you're a good repairman when you just show up with tools and the problem solves itself